Kylie. And I'm Max. The character word for this month is courtesy. Courtesy means the act of kindness and civility. The first event for March is the Stomp Dogs and the second grade performance on March 5th. Don't forget the Students Day Conference on March 11th and March 15th. Also, the kindergarten registration start on the 11th. Remember that spring break is the 18th and 22nd. The second place attendance winner for this month is Miss Werdeman's fourth grade class. Miss Ray's class was first, but they have won before. Miss Werdeman came in second. Way to go for both of these classes. Let's see how they celebrate this month. Let's, Let's go. go. we will be interviewing for this month. Mr. Alec is a yard teacher and Ralph has been teaching for a while. This is his fourth year teaching God. Mr. Ragic has been teaching students at home since our school opened. Now let's go over to Elia and Mr. Ruddick. My name is Elia Shell, and today I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Ruddick. Thank you for letting us interview you today. You're welcome. Um, so we're just going to ask you a few questions. So the first one is if you had to tell someone something about you that they wouldn't like think nicely would know, well, what is it? <laughs> hmm. Well, something that they might not know. Well, they may not know that I just had a painting uh, put on exhibit at an art show Monday night. Wow, <laughs> that's... Yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, what inspired you to be an art teacher? Um, I started painting pictures when I was about four years old and I went to private art lessons and took art all through school every time I had a chance and just loved it. Okay, if you ever had to change your job, what would it be? Like, mm. why would you want to change it? Well, I was a fifth grade teacher for 15 years and a fourth grade teacher for five years, so for 20 years I was a classroom teacher. So that might be the only thing I may go back to doing. Or maybe like a seventh grade history teacher. I think that might be fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long have you been being a teacher at J.B. Hunt before being an art teacher? So J.B. Hunt is 14 years old, and I was here on the very first day it opened. So I've been here for the last 14 years since the day the door opened. And this is my first year to be an art teacher here, though. Okay, so thank you for letting us interview you. Those are all the questions we had. You're welcome. And so, yep. Hi, I'm Carrington. And I'm Julia. Brayden, William, and thank Amelia you. will be reminding you of playground rules. As it gets closer to spring, we will be going outside more often. Disclaimer, do not repeat any of Brayden's bad playground safety. These will get you in a ton of trouble. Be sure to always keep it safe in the playground area. Brayden, don't cut off the slide. You could get hurt. Well, I want to. Brayden, you're going to get sick. Brayden, get, Brayden, get off there. You're going to get sick.
This month we will be talking about St. Patrick's Day. Every March 17th, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated with parties, parades, and a lot of green. St. Patrick's Day has been around for thousands of years. This first St. Patrick's Day in the U.S. was celebrated in 1737. Also, the original St. Patrick's color is blue. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated seven more times than people that live in Ireland. Speaking of Ireland, did you know that St. Patrick's Day was not found in Ireland, but in Britain? Also, Chicago dies in River Drain for St. Patrick's Day.